Hello. Thank you for tuning into my channel. The Street Art Pixel quilt top is finished. Um, today we're going to go over how to take the paper off the back. So if you want more information about that, please stay tuned. I'm really excited about having these three panels of this quilt top done. As a reminder, this is the um, inspiration picture. It's from the Mural Co. Com. And I went back and looked to see where it was from, and it's actually in Los Angeles. I thought it was in, um, I thought the, the picture was actually in Arizona, but it's in Los Angeles, California. I'll put a link to the um, that website so you can check out this art and other art that they have. Um, and I took this and I did pixels. So I put a sheet of graph paper over it. The X's mean that I made all of those panels or all those blocks and I ended up putting it in three panels. So one, two, three. And they're all done. So I'll show you the panels individually and then um, I'll need to put them together to make a full quilt. I used newspaper as my foundation. Here's panel one. And you can see that there's still some bits of newspaper. Our video today is going to be about how we're taking that off. And here is panel two. And here is panel three. Okay. Most of this, um, the newspaper has already been taken off the back of this. I'll show you on panel two. I've taken it all off. Actually, my mom helped take this off, except I left the edges on where it's going to be connected to another piece. So what I'm going to do first is, before I finish uh, taking the paper off, is I'm going to go ahead and connect all three panels so we can see what this quilt looks like. All right, so I've stitched all of the panels together and I just think it looks amazing. The only thing um, to do next is to remove all the rest of the foundation paper off the back. Usually when you um, do foundation piecing or paper piecing, you do want to move, uh, take that paper off before you, um, before you add batting and backing. All right, so um, I've already, when I stitched everything, I lowered my stitch length so that the paper will be easier to tear off. So make sure if you're working in um, with paper piecing that you do lower that stitch length. I'll just start right here. Um, it's not hard to take the paper off. You can use, like I have some tweezers or something, you know, but really just finding a spot and pulling it off. You can see that it comes off pretty easily. But I want to get all of the um, all the paper off before I add the batting and backing. And it's good to have somebody to help you. If you have somebody who will help you, that would be awesome. I think my mom is going to help me today. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, but we're going to go through and take out all of the little bits of paper. So just double check and make sure you got everything. There is paper here in the seam allowances. So I'm just going to make sure that when we take that out, that we take even these little skinny strips out um, because that way you won't have paper, like you won't feel it in the quilt after you have everything done. So this is, I'm so excited. Um, I was wondering or thinking about whether or not I should put a border on this um, quilt and I don't think I am. I think it's going to be awesome without a border um, but I'm really excited to get it finished now that I've actually pieced the whole panel it shouldn't be as hard to get the batting and backing together for this so I'll um, keep doing this if you have questions about this process then please leave them in the comments below Thank you so much for following along with this uh, with this series. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you to create a um, a pixel quilt based on you know whatever picture that you have. So thumbs up this video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.